Hi, in this video I'm going to teach you how easy it is to extract ASINs from Amazon's listing page. I'm going to show you how you can build your own bot to do this without using a single line of code. I'm Axi sorry, I'm not Axiom, I'm Alex, Axiom's co-founder. Let's dive in. So just before we start, the thing that was puzzling me when I was trying to think of how to build this bot was that the ASINs are found on the product pages. And I didn't want to have to scrape every product page to get their ASIN. That would just like take forever. So I took a look around and I searched in the code and then I noticed something in the URL string that they actually list the ASIN in the URL string. And you can see it's confirmed there. Additional information, that is the ASIN. The same information we can see here. So what do we know? We know the um, ASIN is in the URL string and on the listing page they have the links to all the pages so the ASIN will be in those links. So all we need to do is create a bot that will enter a search term and then scrape the listings and extract that small string, the ASIN, from the longer string, the URL simple right well actually it is and I can do it in a few minutes without a single line of code so let's get cracking open up Axiom new automation once more let's start from blank and our starting point will be because we want to enter a search term into the Amazon search we'll be reading data because we're going to store those search terms in the Google Sheet funnily enough I've already made a Google Sheet here with a search term in let's just go back here and I can select that sheet. I can select the tab, the search tab. We have two tabs set up in the sheet, one to um, list the searches we want to do and then one to write the data that we extract into. Okay, first cell, last cell, we don't need to do any action on that for this version of the bot. Next step we're gonna add is um, the interactive page step. If you haven't used this step before, this is the one with all the sub-steps in it, sub-steps that interact and automate the actual web page. More on that in a second, so I'm going to add that step. I'm going to put the URL of Amazon search in there. We're just going to start it from blank. So we'll just like do amazon.co.uk as I'm based in the UK. We're going to add the URL. I'm just going to get current. Now let, let's add one of those sub steps. <clears throat> let's take a look at the list. You can see sub steps are all the interactions you can automate from clicks, select list, to entering text. First one we want is enter text. Let's set this up by selecting the text field we want to enter that data into, and that's the input field, the search. Then we want to figure out how to pass data from the Google Sheet. Well, that's easy. You can see here the yellow stadium shapes. That indicates a step has data to share. Now we can just go back to the text field inside the search step. And then we can click on Insert Data, Google Sheet. Bob's your uncle. We've now connected the data into the search field. So that's pretty cool. Now all we need to do is click the um, Submit button to enter that search. So let's do a click element, sub-step. Select the button, press Complete. We won't execute it now. And so that's that click, um, the click element on the search setup. Next, what, we, what do we want to do? We want to, um, basically we want to then scrape the data. Well, I need to go to the page that I want to scrape to do that. And we're just going to enter it here, just get the results. Let's actually do this page. And then let's just check that's updated. Cool. Next, what did we click on the go? Then we just basically want to scrape the data. So we're going to look for the scraping step. Get data from web page. Now, first of all, we're going to select the title of the products. So let's ignore the um, sponsored ones. 
it's sometimes you need to jiggle the or just move your cursor very slowly over the object so i'm just going to go quite tight in there now we want to make a repeating selection so i'm going to click it again you can see axioms grabbing the titles now i'm just going to move myself up here a bit so you can see our selector tool below here and by default it's set to select text now i'm going to add a new column because we want the urls as well i'm going to repeat the URL is also stored on the text. So I'm just going to repeat that trick. I just did. In fact, I'm just going to reset that step. I didn't quite get that right. And this time you want to change it to the link. There we go. Everything's set up. I'm going to press complete to save. So now we're scraping the um, title and the link where we'll get the ASIN from. Let's just do um, 15 results to test with to keep it nice and fast for the purpose of this demo. And click Save. Next, we want to output that data to the Google Sheet so we can store it. So we're going to use a right step. We can again search for Amazon. And this time we're going to choose the results and we're going to clear existing data for this run but if you want to continue just adding data on um, other runs just add to existing data now i'm going to take this opportunity to test the bot let's see if we manage to scrape some data i'm going to run it on the desktop i'm just going to drag the desktop into view you can see amazon is loaded on the default page now my hands are up here i'm not doing anything this is the bot in action I never get tired of watching bots. Look at that, it's entered the search term. Now, hopefully the page will start to wiggle any minute now. That shows you the scraping is working. See the page has gone, well, it didn't really wiggle, it just shot to the bottom. And whilst it's doing that, it should be about to write the data to the Google Sheet. Let's just take a look, tab over to the sheet and go into results. And there we can see we pretty much got, I'm just going to move myself back down now, 15 results. We've got the product name and we've got the URLs. Now all we need to do is extract the ASINs. Like, how do we do that? Like, magic. Like, well, let me show you. Okay, so we're going to open up Axiom. And after this write step, we're going to add a read step. And then we're going to use what we call a split text, the split step. Um, how a minute. Let me just add the write of the read. Sorry, that's my mistake. Let's add the read. Amazon, sheet name, and we read from the results. You can see the previews changed. That's cool. Now we're going to use the split step. And let me just search split, split by character step. So what this does is basically you've got the URL, it's a long string. This will break off a part of it. And what we want to do is break off the part before the ASIN and the part after the ASIN. So how do we do that? Let's add the split step. We're probably going to need two of them because we're going to split like the front off and then we'll split the back off. And then we just need to take a quick look at the string. So we can see the ASIN is down. Where is the ASIN? Is here just before DP. DP slash now that's consistent on all the urls so pardon me let's select the data we're going to bring in and we're just going to do it on column b clear all column b save and close and you'll see now in column b we've got the first part of the ace in there now we just need to get rid of the last now, this is magic, watch this. The first time I used the split step, I was just like, wow, this is so cool. And like, I just like built a bot for someone and it was like, there you go, that's how you do it. And then they've been using it ever since. So I'm gonna add another split by character. And then this time we're gonna pass the data, although it's already connected from the first split by character step. And then we're gonna add, let's just make sure we're selecting the right data. Clear all. We just we just want column B again. You can see that it's got two column B. 
and it's split all the data because we haven't put an option in yet. It's, so it's literally broken it all apart. Now we're going to put a training in there and we can see the col the data in column now column a is now the asins look at that magic now that's the split steps done all we need to do and we're almost done here is write data to a google sheet amazon select the sheet now the results this time we're going to we're going to set a starting cell and we're going to add to existing data because we don't want to overwrite the um the column on the left the title and we don't want to overwrite the url we just want to write the asins into column c we're going to do a starting cell c1 okay so that should be it the bot set up i'm going to click save i'm just going to remove all the data from the bot just so it will go through and start from scratch there we go there's no data there now i'm going to click run again and everything you see happen is going to be the bot doing it right like hang on well just going to check that's i'm just going to click run let's see what happens desktop run so you can also run bots in the cloud for testing i generally use the desktop because it's just faster in the cloud um, it may take a little bit longer depending on the, the queue it's usually pretty instant but the desktop you can just use as much as you want when um, when you need it it's pretty cool so axiom should do the whole search thing it's done that it's doing the scrapey thing the page has gone to the bottom my hands are still here oh we saw the data go in the background now it'll be processing the splitty text thing And it's done it i could have um one mistake i made that's not really a mistake a preference i could just go back in and fix that now is the when i'm writing the data to the sheet here when i choose the split character one to write there i'm going to clear all because i don't really want the trading part i just want that I'm just going to delete all that data again and then we're just going to click run once more and lesson over run like whilst it's doing that um this video is part of a if you're watching it on the um how to guide on the in reading it in the academy site blah 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 then um you've discovered that but if you're watching this just on youtube there'll be a link to the how to guide um just below take a look you can read it follow it step by step to build this bot Okay, so that's the first part done. And that's the ASIN's gone in there. That's pretty cool. So you can imagine how useful this bot is. You can just use the bot to further configure Amazon search, refine the data that you want, and then just extract your products and their ASINs. You could also then build a second bot off this. If you want to go really wacky, you could use the URLs and then go in and get more product information if you want that hope you enjoyed this tutorial please reach out if you could do with some more support or need any assistance building a bot we've got a great support team all you need to do is go to our website slash support and then um, enter your query in click submit and we'll get in touch with you thank you